He was still, he was not down long enough. There we go. Bam! I guess you got a new skill. You went from power nap to power snooze. Yeah. How the likes of you learn to fight like that? Uh, who are you? We're employees from your place of business, Otohime Land. Uh, you're from our own soap land? We were helping Nanoha Mukoda, a woman who works there. We've been sucking money out of her while keeping her dad prisoner in the old folks' home. I told you, we're doing what needs to be done. I've heard all that already, and it's bullshit! You can't just twist the Yakuza coat to suit yourself! That's being a fucking prick! Stop this. Ooh, Chairman. Hello there. Come on up, girl. Thank you. Boss! Totska, what's happening here? There was a dispute on our turf, and so... You look like hitmen to me. Are you Yakuza? We're not hitmen. We came with a request for the chairman. A request? About Totska's business operation. Sunlight Castle? Could we have a bit of your time? How can I be sure you won't try to kill me? Frisk us if you want. We're unarmed. Hmm? Uh, what's wrong? This guy had a strange looking bill on him. <sighs> oh yeah, that bill yeah, again. I've had that for a while. No idea where it came from though. Someone just put it in my pocket at some point. <sighs> what should we do? Nothing. It's just play money. It's very good play money, though. You sure you don't want to tie a string around it? Hurts like a bitch if you don't. I suppose you would know, wouldn't you? Of course, after you made me lose two of them. Just give me the knife already, Captain. It's natural that society wants to avoid seeing its own underbelly. But luckily for those who refuse to look, I've taken many risks to protect them from the Komi Jewel. I've protected them from the Chinese faction as well. Yeah, I don't know everything about it, but I figured it was the Seiryu clan keeping it all balanced. The balance is starting to crumble. It must be said that in any faction, the men operate businesses unknown to the boss. But I'm hearing that some have gone so low as to extort money from the homeless. Yeah, that's the Yokohama Leomon. I got plenty of personal experience with that. I see. And as for Totsuka, I never thought he would keep such a large business secret. Thank you for telling me. I knew of its existence, of course. I was glad Totsuka was the director. Our clan bought that building 30 years ago. It was crumbling. Some wanted it demolished. Others wanted to make it a historic landmark. I settled the issue. I said it should be turned into a retirement home, run by Totsuka. I trusted him completely. I never knew he was running another type of business on the top floor. Yeah. It was still in the exploratory phase. I... I was gonna tell you about it once it became a viable business. It's gross that you're even calling it a business. Yeah, I'm sorry. Chairman, the whole operation is just wrong. You gotta do something. The people there need to be let out. Hmm. Casca, was it? Yes. Yes, sir. I think you have the wrong idea here. Sorry? I appreciate you telling me about Totska's secret business, but I have no need or desire for your opinion. What? 
He's murdering innocent Welcome people. back, Darius. Misfortune is often a side effect of profit. One's happiness might be purchased with another's unhappiness. To a certain extent... Yeah, you get, to, you get to play a lot more than me. I, I'm only playing it one day a week. <laughs> Agreed, boss. With that logic, you can justify anything. No matter how dishonorable. Totska, I'd like to hear your own description of what happens on the top floor. The excellent course offers a smooth and painless transition out of this life. It's compassionate euthanasia. Euthanasia? That's bullshit! I saw it happen! You murdered the woman who was in a wheelchair! Euthanasia is a painless release given to those who need it. That woman in the wheelchair left this world peaceful. You should realize, sometimes it's not the patient who wants it, but the family. Oh yeah. What about Nanoha's dad? Perfect example. She wanted us to dispatch her father. Liar! What do you know about it? I met with her myself and she approved it. That can't be true. <laughs> Consider this your lesson about certain realities in this world. Anyway, I'm done playing teacher. Totska! Sir! Put it down. I don't need your finger. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, he's gonna... But that doesn't mean that I approve of this little side business you were running. Thank you. Therefore... Get rid of it. Takabe! Understood. Boys, take him out of here. What? Show him what'll happen if he ever sets foot in here again. No. Chairman! Chairman! Kasuga. The Yakuza cannot be judged merely by society's standards of what is right and wrong. Our reputation is everything. But we cannot preserve our reputation if we allow civilians like you to trespass. Don't fool yourself into thinking you did something brave today. The truth is, your actions have disgraced me and the Seiryu clan. I want that knowledge to weigh heavy on your heart. Considering he's scared as I should be right now, I'm super into it, Chairman. That was awesome. I'm sorry. I was starting to think that during the 18 years I spent in prison, the type of Yakuza I admired went extinct. But you're one of them. You're the old-school kind of Yakuza. The kind I've always believed in, and always will. I see. I'm glad such a thing is still appreciated. I must admit, I find myself wondering what kind of Yakuza raised you like that. You're asking about my patriarch? Hmm. He was the type of guy who would show up to rescue a dumbass kid who dropped his name just to get out of trouble. Even a kid he never met. He cut off his own finger for the family name. Right. Let's go home. Wait. I'm curious. I'm curious. Ah. Uh. What was the name of this patriarch? Masumi Arakawa, of the Arakawa family. Ex-Tojo clan. Arakawa? 
Yep. Although, when I went to find him the other day, he did put a bullet in me. <laughs> so, I guess I should probably take the hint. But he can't take away all the lessons I learned from him. To me, he's still the way a man ought to be. Arakawa. I'll remember that. Hey. Good on this guy here. Good on this chairman. And oh man. Good on this chairman. Well, guess we should head back to the soap land. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Whatever. So that was a shocker. How Nanoha agreed to the euthanasia. I guess you never know for sure what people really want. <sighs> hey, just a minute. Need something, Captain? Come to Sunlight Castle. He didn't jam. I'm having Nanoha meet okay. us there. Dwayne. I'll just say Dwayne. That's going to be a lot easier. <laughs> Why? Just. Yeah, because. Me trying to say that name is just going to be me butchering it. That, uh, so I'll just say Dwayne. If you come here enough and I see you enough, I'll just be calling you Dwayne. Oh my God. I look at that name and I'm like, I, I literally go, Nunny. Do it. Are you Nanohamu Koga? Yes. We talked on the phone. I'm Takabe, the general manager. Um, where's Totsuka-san? He had some urgent business and couldn't be here, so I'm filling in. I see. I apologize for how sudden this is, but we're closing our institution. You're closing? Yes. As such, we won't be able to continue caring for your father. We're terribly sorry, but you'll have to make other arrangements for it. But the... the operation, wasn't that scheduled for today? It's been cancelled. We deeply apologize and ask for your understanding. Cancelled? But if he doesn't get that operation, he'll die! Huh? Hold up. What did you just say? They said... he'll die without the surgery. Uh, just double checking. But is that what you paid Totska for last time you met? What did you two talk about? Um, at the meeting, we. Wow! Wow! Are you kidding? Now I scraped together two million yen. But can I finish paying later? Maybe we don't even have to do the surgery that soon. I'm worried he's still too weak for it. Don't tell me you're having second thoughts now. Oh Your my god. deserves to be at peace. You said it yourself. Now you're cheaping out on him? No, please don't say that. Of course I want Dad to have peace in his golden years. I don't want him in pain, but does it have to be so expensive? I'm afraid it does. Given the delicate nature of the task, there may be complications. Don't you see the need for finesse? That's what you're paying us for. Oh, okay. It's just my father's never had an operation. Oh my god. Oh. He was lying the entire <laughs> time. Hey, oh my god. We can laugh about it. Must not be that bad, right? Wow. Oh. Uh, I guess. Wow. So she had no idea. It seems not. She thought the operation was a life-saving procedure. Damn, we barely got to him in time. Nanohasa, let me assure you, the operation is no longer necessary. Sorry? Your father was examined again. 
and doctors concluded the previous diagnosis was incorrect. Oh, really? Yes, therefore we are returning this payment to you immediately. We realize how inconvenient... Oh my god, they making so, good! All money paid towards care after today's date will Oh be my refunded. god! But, what do I do now? When does he have to move out? Please, don't worry. There will be no forced relocations. As I said, we realize how inconvenient this is for you. Your father may stay here free of charge until you make other arrangements. Are you serious? Finally, some actual fairness. This was by order of the chairman. I'm glad to hear that. Real glad. Wow. So, who was it who said she was in trouble again? Leave it alone. Everybody makes mistakes. <laughs> so much for detectives' hunches. Wow. Hey, Adachi's mistake led to her dad's survival, so there. Let's just be grateful for her luck. Wow. I'll trust you all to iron out whatever you need to. Yeah, we're good. Hmm. Hey, bit of advice. You should put that away. Oh, yes, of course. Now that you've got a fat wad of cash, maybe you can afford to work at a nicer place, you know? Sorry? We were hired to work at Otohime Land while you were out. You were only working there so you could fund your dad's care, right? Yes. You don't even have to go back. We'll tell the boss you quit if you like. Oh, and we'll get you any back pay you're owed. Really? Oh, that'd be great, actually. Why does this sound like Makoto's voice, no the English voice that. actor? I'm sure he's gonna flip when he sees you. Thank you. You know, seeing that smile, I can see why she was their most popular girl. <laughs> Such a ladies' man, aren't you? Okay, let's go report to the boss. Wow. Oh, I'm so glad for that ending. Oh, I'm so glad for that ending of that storyline. All right, night time. You know you yeah. Ooh, big dog. Who's the big dog? Big dog? The big dog. Okay, come on, come on. Get a little bit closer together, guys. They get a little bit closer together. A little bit closer. A little bit closer. There we go. Good one. Ah, you miss. Take your best shot. I'm up. You're in it now. Okay. Boom. Take that for a back massage. Let's get out of the street before we run over. All right, so we got to go back to the soap land. Let's roll it. How much money do we have? Oh, only 8k. All right, pardon me, coming through. stayed on that side. Hey guys. Go. 
All right, so one thing I want to look at the emails systems party on Not party on Drink links So it never hurts to be a friend <clears throat> Okay, so basically I have like full full This is unlocked as the story progresses. Okay. Talk to Adachi at the sur uh, sur uh, survive bar. Okay. Alright. So I gotta go do karaoke! I gotta do karaoke at least once tonight. Well, maybe we can do the new movie too. Whoa, that was close. Nearly got hit. Right. Hey, boss. We kind of let your. Uh... Hey, boss. We're back. He got dead. pretty crazy back there. But you know what? He's dead. <gasps> yep. Why would you? No, oh, the Saryu clan did it. The Saryu clan did it. Oh, come on. I know you guys can't see it, but an achievement it just unlocked soap on a rope. No. Nonomiya really didn't seem the type to kill himself. <sighs> yeah, I hear you on that one. I would have jumped on that place no matter how big a loan I needed. Seriously, it's a gold mine. The guy was sitting on a mountain of cash and he just threw himself off. <sighs> Classy group. Talking this way at a funeral. Money does things to people. 
They know a soap land can be a ticket to riches. Can't just start one just by submitting some paperwork? Not these days. It's gotten a lot stricter. A new soap land has to be more than 200 meters from any school, hospital, or library. There's no downtown real estate that meets that criteria. Not a single lot. So, functionally, it's impossible to open a new soap land. What about the old ones that have been around forever? They got grandfathered in. So Nonomiya's death is another precious soap land down the drain. It didn't have to be. He could have sold it and made a huge profit, just like those guys said. I really don't understand why he did himself in. He didn't. Me neither. There must have been something terrible going on. No, something I think somebody went in and murdered him. Situation. I have a feeling he was I murdered. Really think he was more of a sensitive guy than he ever let on. <sighs> Excuse me, sensitive? I don't know about that. Nano Hassan? Is that you? Whoa, look at her. She gives she's feeling a lot better now. No more stress about her dad. Then she went shopping. Yeah. She looked great. Oh boy. Pretty sexy. <laughs> Shut up. On. She's here to pay her respects, you moron. Grow the fuck up. Nano Hassan. You should know that we are the ones who found him. I mean, we were just heading back to the shop, expecting to find him there, but uh, he'd already, he'd already hung himself. Um, yeah, I heard you guys just now saying he was sensitive. Come on, we all know he wasn't the greatest guy, and he was selfish, too. But that's why I think there's no way he killed himself. Damn, Nano Hassan. I know you're still going through a lot, but is this really the time to trash the guy? Don't lecture me like that. You don't even know me. Uh, uh, she smokes? Um, uh, we don't know you. No, you don't. I'm Saeko. Oh. He looks like... All right, so is Psycho your nickname or something? I don't get it. No, I'm saying that you and I have never met before, okay? Do you get it now, Gramps? G Gramps? Okay, you obviously don't get it. Maybe Four Eyes over there can figure it out? Four Eyes? No. Well, the simple answer is they're twins, right? We have a winner. You're smarter than you look back there. Yeah, I'm Nanoha's sister. Uh, seeing as you're uh, Nanoha's twin, do you have the same, you know, job as she does? No. I'm not for sale, if that's what you're asking. I'm a bartender at a cabaret club that Nonomiya owned, actually. Jeez, he owned a cabaret club and a soap land? Yeah, he may not have looked it, but he was actually one of the top dogs in Eugene Cho's red light district. Now that he's gone, I guess both my club and Otohime Land are probably going to shut down. Was it just a coincidence that you and your sister both worked in his establishments? Yeah, it was. I mean, it's crazy, but I didn't even know that Nanoha was working at... You know, at his brothel. You didn't know? I had no idea. I only found out a few days ago. And I still don't understand. If I'd known she needed money to take care of her dad, I'd have gladly given her some. How could you not know? I mean, your sisters, aren't you? What, what gives? You might say we had a complicated relationship. So Darius, See, I... is Yakuza like a dragon your first time in the Yakuza series? I just gotta ask that question. I left home when I was young, and I never looked back. You just cut your family off? That was how it had to be. But I had no idea my sister was working at Otohime Land. I mean, Nonomiya had to know the two of you were related. I'm sure he did. It's obvious we're twins. And apparently he actually did tell Nanoha that I was working at his cabaret club. But she... She asked him to keep her job a secret from me, no matter what. Well, not a real surprise, seeing as you were estranged. 
Then a few days ago, Nonomiya called me, sounding really worried. He said my